Hello! Thank you guys so much for coming to this video. I really appreciate it. Uh, as you can see, I got my new setup finally. I've been talking about it for a month, uh, but I finally did it. Um, it took me a while because I have two PCs, you know, one Linux uh, for my tech stuff, and then one for Windows for the video stuff, and then also for video games. And um, I want to say it's probably 50 cords combined, especially with the new audio setup, the, the new camera setup. I got lights and stuff too. Um, it's pretty weird. It's going to take some getting used to. You guys see me in a, for who I really am, uh, who I am truly. Uh, it's pretty funny, you know, I can't, I can't get fat. <laughs> I'll hate myself every time I look into this camera. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be absolutely terrible. But how are you guys all doing today? Thank you guys so much for coming by, especially the people here in the very beginning. I love to see Braveheart Steakpool, Christian, Zaza, Zujay, Anthony. What's up? What's up? Happy Monday. Smash that like button. He's right. So before we jump into this, what is this? For all the new people that are into Cardano right now, that are into cryptocurrency, what is this? This is my weekly Cardano AMA. I just answer your questions. It's that, it's that simple. You can ask me anything. It's really Cardano focused, but I also do questions about me, about anything, right? So it's you can ask me anything. Um, I do these every Monday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you can ask the dumbest questions in the world or the smartest questions in the world. You know, I try to answer them. The goal of these is to educate. So I hope if you actually do learn a lot from these, uh, you'll learn or you'll go teach somebody else as well. How's the audio and everything? Audio good, camera good, in sync. It feels like my mouth is in sync for the first time ever, which is pretty, yeah, the room is empty. Uh, yeah, so sorry about the background, it's pretty boring. Uh, I do probably, I should probably do some soundproofing in here. I, I hear what you're talking about. I hear myself echoing, right? So I may have to do some basic soundproofing on the corners and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to make everything look nice for you guys. You know, it's the same old content, um, same education and stuff, but I'm going to start doing, I'm going to start being nicer about things. You know, I'm going to start working harder on the thumbnails, working harder on everything. You know, I mean, look at me. I'm even sitting up straight right now. Who am I? <laughs> but uh, honestly, I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day, man. Uh, I've had a pretty good day so far. Uh, I just went to the gym, you know, uh, cleaned up, did the setup. It was pretty fun. Um, but how are you guys all doing? I do have some topics to go over for sure. For sure. Bit of an echo. It's, uh, it's not the mic, man. It's, it's the room that I'm in. Um, I wonder if, I wonder if I can open that door, if it'll help the sound leakage a little bit. A bit of an echo. All right, let me try this. You guys are going to like actually see me for once. It's pretty weird. There. <laughs> this is me. This is who I am. <laughs> I even have the black, the background blur off too, but is that a little better? Kinda. There's a little bit of sound leakage. It sounds a little better. Alan said, when and how to register for the next vote? Thanks, Pay from Ireland. I, um, so I will have a video on that. I think it's very soon. I think it's like in two days, so uh, I might have to actually do that. But also, if you guys enjoy this, if you guys enjoy these at all, please click that like button. It's very simple. Click the notification bell and click all. If you're not watching this live, leave a comment down below. But if you are watching it live, let's get some questions coming. I do have to, okay, no questions yet. I got to go, go into the topics for today. So we had a big bloom announcement, but also I want to talk a bit, a little bit about this dip, this huge ADA dip. Okay. So as you guys can see, you're okay. First off, not, not financial advice. If you're coming to me for financial advice, you have a problem, please contact a financial advisor, please, 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 please. Uh, but I wanted to talk about this, right? A lot of people are new. A lot of people have no clue what's going on. A lot of people have maybe never even seen a dip like this, right? So we were at 87, 88 cents, and we dipped all the way down on here. So 75 cents, but we also dipped down to like 67, I saw on a couple different websites. So why does this happen? How could this ever happen to the beautiful coin that is ADA? It's pretty simple, man. It's cryptocurrency. It goes up and it goes down, it goes up and it goes down. But I personally, not financial advice, think it's going to go up over time. So what you have to do, how do you protect yourself from this? You have to be prepared for any scenario, right? You have to be prepared for ADA to go down to 10 cents. If you are going to lose your home because ADA is going to go down to 10 cents, then you're overinvested. Not financial advice. But what you need to do in my opinion, and in, in my non-financial advice opinion, is DCA over time, dollar cost average, buy the dips, buy the dips. And if it goes down, you buy it again. You always have, a, have to have enough cash put to the side to make sure that you're comfortable with whatever scenario happens. It's very, very important you do that because I don't wanna see you guys 
Um, go through some problems, problems just because you were over-invested because you're just as passionate about ADA and Cardano as we are, right? But you should never over-invest. I mean, we have gone up. Let's go take a look at this. Three months, three months, right? So in December, we were at 15 cents and now we're at 87. Do I think we're gonna crash down to 15? I don't know. I have no idea where it's gonna go. But what I'm telling you is, you need to be prepared for both scenarios. 15 cents and $15. No matter what, you have to, you are the only person that can secure your financial future, right? It's very important that you do that. And, and that's really all I have to say about it, man. Please, please make sure that you're safe, you know? That's my price. That's my little price thing, you know? You just guys, you guys gotta make sure you're, you're safe, you know, with no matter what asset you're investing in, you know? But crypto, it's a... Uh, it's a double-edged blade. You know, you can have ridiculous gains like 15 cents to 96 in, in, a, in a couple months, but you can also lose 95% of all of the value you have in cryptocurrency in a span of six months. Just how it works. And if you're new here, you're going to come to realize that. You know, I have no idea how long the bull market's going to last. I have no idea what the top is, but both scenarios I am personally covered, right? So I hope you do the same. I feel like a, I feel like a dad. <laughs> I feel like a dad. Um, let me read real, let me read real quick. Uh, what do you think about that dip? That's my thoughts, man. It dips. There's really no reason why. Yeah, we broke the dislike button. Just zoom out. What dip? Yeah, exactly, exactly. I get paid tomorrow. Spending four hundred. Hell yeah, man. I lost last night sixty eight cents while I was sleeping. I woke up money with money in my hand. That sucks, man. That dip was a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be. Thought it was going to be for sure. For sure. So as I said, just listen to Charles. It's not about the money. See, I don't agree with Charles completely, right? It's obviously not about the money. Obviously what we're doing isn't about the money, but there, it's a cryptocurrency, right? I mean, it's, it's a social network of value. So it, there, it's obviously there's some money at the heart of it, Right, but obviously, what we're trying to do, what we're trying to accomplish in the future, and um, kind of like the vision, is not about money. But the price does matter. It does. It does to a certain extent. You know, three cents would not be healthy for the ecosystem right now. You know, and and maybe three dollars isn't healthy for the ecosystem right now. So price does matter. I mean, the treasury values attached to that. But so I wanted to go into the big announcement, big bloom announcement. Crypto Crow's streaming right now, so I think that's why we're getting murdered on the views. But let me, um, let me go to both real quick. All right, so big, big announcement. I put, I put this out there yesterday and I also wanna to respond to the comments. There were some, um, I would say, I, not hard comments, but reasonable comments that I wanna to reply to and I wanna make sure that I address this and I'm gonna actually do it live uh, because it's better than just replying to them personally and you guys don't see it. So um, also, let me advertise it real quick while we're here. So I actually run Bloom. Bloom minted the eighth ever block on Cardano. We pay about five to 5.5% 5 .5 a year on your ADA return. So if you delegate to Bloom through Bloom 6, uh, you're gonna earn that. And we're gonna be here till the end. We have over 10 million ADA pledged to the Cardano network to protect the, ne the network from civil attacks. So if you guys have any questions about that, feel free to join my Discord server down below. I'll help you out personally. And there's other people that will help you out as well. So today, all bloom pools will be lowered from 5% to 4% for good. And that's the fee margin. That's what we charge. We will also be lowering the pledge on each pool to 1 million. However, the 10 million will remain in wallets. Bloom will always pledge 10 million. So what does this mean right here? So right now we have 2.5 million on bloom, 2.5 million on bloom 2, and 1 million or 1.25, 1.25, 1.25, 1 and then finally 1.25 on the final pool. So why are we loaning them to 1 million? Well, first off, in the beginning, I've always said that I want all bloom pools to be able to be designed to pay the same rewards over time. And I also said that we would never take pledge out of the network. So what we're doing is we're leaving the, the ADA in those wallets. Um, and we're also, uh, as, a, as a thank you to you guys for your support thus far, we're gonna lower that fee percentage from 5% to 4%. So that's a 20% decrease 
um, and fees. So obviously you guys are going to get some more rewards for that. And it was also kind of like a, a sorry, right? Because I did say that I'm never going to lower the pledge from 2.5 million. And that's, it's not like we're, we're taking it off there to, to liquidate or sell it. You guys can actually check the wallets right now and see that it has not moved. The only thing is I just changed a number, right? I didn't take the wallet. I didn't sell it. You can actually look at that right now by using Cardano scan to verify it. Um, but yeah, that was kind of the whole thing is I want them all to be designed the same. It doesn't look right with 2.5, 2.5, and then 1.25. Um, so then we lowered the fees as a thank you. Um, and that's kind of it. I'm not going to say again that it's going to, so we, we like 1 million. We're not going to go lower than 1 million, but also at the same time, who knows where the network is going to be um, in a year from now, right? I mean, we're right now, we're at K equals 500. Uh, we could be moving to K equals 1,000 very soon. We could be, equal, we could be moving to K equals 5,000, right? We have no idea where the network's going to be. Um, but my goal with Bloom um, is to just be a, a good value for the network, right? To, to operate good pools that make good blocks and also provide a service to you guys and provide value uh, through these YouTube videos and also a lot of the stuff that we're working on in the background that we'll be giving you more information on later. So I want to address some of these comments, right? Because there are some good ones. So this is the first one. I kind of addressed it a little bit. Why? You said at the beginning the pledge would remain 2.5 million. Uh, why is that happening also? Um, so that's, I mean, that's good. It, it, so the pledge is staying in the wallet. You can verify at 2.5 million um, and we will never take that ADA out and sell it, right? For profit or for anything, it will remain in the wallets and that ADA will be pledged to Bloom Pools and to secure the network from Zippo attacks. We're, we're never going to take that off. So um, it's kind of half and half, right? I'm obviously doing a little cop out and saying, oh, well, it's still in the wallet. Uh, but we also didn't take it out and sell it because that's what's actually bad. You know, we're taking out skin in the game for our own profit. That's not what we're doing. Uh, we're just lowering the number that's actually registered to the blockchain, whereas the ADA is still there. So thank you, Joel. Uh, I'm sorry if that upsets you if it, for anything. And feel free to comment down below and I'll reply to you personally as well. Um, Farah G he had a very, very good point. He said, pay. It's a good practice to let us, let us know of such changes ahead of time, even if they may be beneficial. He's completely right. He's completely right. And I'll take this into account in the future. Um, and he, and I'll give you guys a few weeks notice for big changes like this, but there's not going to be big changes in the future, right? We're not going to be uh, lowering the fees or, or lowering the pledge um, for the foreseeable future, right? And, and we want to stick at 1 million and we have no plans to ever go below that, right? Um, and then uh, I also wanted to talk like that we are also still uh, with 1 million, um, some of the highest pledges, like probably top five to top 1% um, of highest pledges in the whole network relative to pools, right? So uh, we're still securing the network. Not We're not taking that ADA out, but he's right. I should you guys, I should give you guys a heads up notice. Um, so why? Why didn't I? Um, it's because I actually wanted to register. I wanted to submit this to the blockchain so you guys could get those fees earlier. So the way it works for me on the Linux side is I have to submit a transaction to the Cardano network and say, hey, I want to lower my fees. Well, I have to do that before a snapshot because you know how the epoch changes on the snapshot days. So what I have to actually do is submit that. So for you guys to get less fees sooner, I have to submit it before that deadline, right? So that's what I, I tried to do. Um, and that's why I didn't give you much of a notice, but thank you, thank you so much for your comment, Farah. And I'll take that into account for the next one. Um, so someone else said, hello, I saw the earnings will double from which era? Um, that's not true. Earnings will not double. However, you'll receive more rewards because you're paying a little bit less uh, to the fees. Jonathan said, keep up the amazing work. Thanks, man. Don said, happy Valentine's Day. I appreciate your support for the community. So this is this is a, a long, long question. We're not going to get into it, but maybe I might do like a long, long, um, really f philosophical discussion on this. But he said, I pre appreciate your support for the community, but wouldn't it be best for the network if users delegate their ADA a lot uh, of different staking pools, whereas one person takes care of one pool to push decentralization. So this is a great, great response from Nicholas, and he's thinking in the right place. You know, he's worried about decentralization. Is is running multiple pools bad for the network, right? And the answer tends to fall in the middle, right? So obviously, you know, if you're so, so what we're worried about is civil attacks, right? It's where one actor holds 51% of the network. Right. That's what everyone's worried about. That's why uh, that's where the decentralization of Cardano comes from is having um, different pools and no one actor holding 51%. Um, but at the same time, we've talked about this in the past that Cardano itself, if this is a protocol level problem, 
um, then it needs to address it with incentive models. I have podcasts on this in the past. I've talked lengthy, probably hours on this topic um, in different videos and different podcasts. I would, if I would recommend you guys check out the one with Umed, he talks about the A not parameter. It's what's supposed to incentivize multiple pools. Um, but it gets tricky because if you change that parameter, um, then people with more ADA uh, end up doing better. So then people will say in African countries or uh, third world countries where the cost of lives much lower, um, they can't run pools, right? So it's this, it's this kind of back and forth. And I, I, I got to tell you right now, I don't agree with the one rule, one person or one entity, right? I mean, Bloom is not just one person anymore. We're, we have multiple people and we are trying to give back and we are trying to provide value to the network. And to me, that's what it is. It's a value proposition, right? Um, whereas, and, and this is, it's a slippery slope. It really is. Cause I don't like to say, oh, like 1% pool, right? But, but like 1% pool, what does he do for the network other than, other than take money, right? But then what do I do? I make YouTube videos, right? So it's a slippery slope, man. So at the heart, my opinion on it is that the protocol at the soul should incentivize the behavior that it wants. Right. So that's my heart. Right? That's that's kind of my opinion on it. I'm not going to get into say, oh, well, one percent pool. He shouldn't run 30. The protocol should take care of that. If if the protocol can't take care of of one percent pool um, the, or, or, or me or because if we're actually doing something bad, uh, which we're not, um, then then the Cardano protocol has more issues um, than we're letting on, which I don't think it does. Right. But that's a great, great question, Nicholas. Um, and I would love to have that discussion with somebody more in the future. Um, but to me, uh, one pool, one person doesn't make so much sense. I mean, you have entities. Some people actually have more ADA than they do for one pool. Does that mean they only have one pool? It's really a, philo a, a philosophical problem. Like how decentralized should something be, right? Because right now Cardano, especially when the D parameter is zero, is already the most decentralized blockchain there is, right? So how decentralized should it really be? Should we have one pool per half person? Or you know what I mean? It's just it's really it's a f philosophical thing, and it's uh, but it is it's important, right? I do I do agree that the the to talking about decentralization is very important. Um, so Vaughn said badass. Thanks, Vaughn. Appreciate that. Wise Capital said Bloom. What the f is that? He's new. He's new. Uh, so Bloom is my stake pool. Um, it's so then Steve Prince said I think four percent's fair. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate that, man. But yeah, we can go to the questions now. I got to sit up straight. Cardano Pizza Man with the super chat. I said, hey, y'all, what's up? Eat more pizza. I'd feel, I'd feel pretty poopy if I ate some pizza right now, man. I've, I'm fasted, so I'm, I'm feeling pretty great. Mariso said, the FOMO will grow towards March and April, so let's hope for another dip before. Could happen, man. Could happen. You never know. Daddy said, hi, what's up? Darko said, hey, yo, what's up, Darko? I appreciate you coming by today, man. Brianna said, hi, Big Pay. I just staked with Bloom yesterday. I'm pumped. Dude, thank you so much, Brianna. I really appreciate that. If you have any questions about anything Cardano, uh, make sure you hop in that Discord chat and I can help you out. But thank you so much for your support. It means the world. Uh, Ruan said, glad I found your channel. Thanks, man. Yeah, I can't stand this echo. It's, it's really, it's bouncing in my ears. I, I really don't like it, man. I really don't like it. I'm going to have to fix that. Uh, Ruan said, oh, I already read that one. Johnny said, I use my ADA to place long calls and earn more ADA. Johnny's trading. One over one ten, one over 1024 said, decreasing K forces multiple pools. It's not that it forces it. It just directly incentivizes it without the proper A not parameter, right? So um, it just doesn't make much sense to tell to tell actors in the community, people that uh, are public facing that they have to follow the rules when no one else does because the rules aren't there in the first place, really. It's an incentives problem um, and, and not a, a, an ethical problem. CF said, shut up, pay you greedy pig. Thanks, man. I really appreciate that, CF. Rand Corp said, big pay, let's go. What's up, man? Matthew said, forgive me for my literacy on this. Isn't protection from 51% attacks coming along with Gogan? Something like that. How, how does the self-healing from these attacks works? That's a great question, Matthew. So this isn't coming with Gogan. It's actually coming with Ouroboros Omega. And that's the next contract that IOG is doing. Um, it's essentially their... So right now, if their last contract, it was supposed to be like a few years long. Uh, we were going to get Shelly, Gogan, Voltaire, Basho. Um, so after that, there has to be another contract. They're not going to just keep working indefinitely for free. Um, and the next contract is actually Ouroboros Omega. And it has this self-healing 
aspect to it from 51% attacks. Um, as far as how that works, um, I actually, I did ask Charles about that. I was very curious. And he, he told me that um, it's essentially, it's based on the honest minority, right? So the honest minority continues and continues and it heals back from there. Um, as far as how that works, I'm going to have to read the paper that's around 60 pages and I am going to. Um, so, but I hope that helps. There's a little bit of details, but as I learn more about this stuff, um, I, I'm going to, I'm going to teach you guys more about that. So how's the setup? Tell me, do you guys like this? Is it cool? It's pretty cool for me, man. It's pretty cool. I'm, I'm even looking at the camera. I'm actually, I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Rand said, huge snowstorm coming to Ohio. Get the fire rolling. and watching that Ada chart, buying those dips. I, I, I heard about that, man. I heard about that. Eagle said, you're a really nice supporter for the community and I like your channel. Thank you, man. You're too kind, Eagle. You like CSGO, man? King Kenny said, King Kenny. King Kenny was born with a bit. Can everyone smash the like button? He's right. There's only 96 likes and 200 people here. What is going on? Let's get those numbers up. Let's get those numbers up. Hey, Pay, as always, appreciate you and your community efforts. Curious on what your plan is for next K adjustment regarding bloom pools. Um, we're still working on that, man. Great question, Andrew. Uh, we're still working on it. We're still working on it. I will give you guys all the details when I have them. Sam said, what can you make a Cardano project fail? How likely? And, and the reason I say that, Andrew, is because we haven't really been told when K is coming. We were told March. Pardon me, water burp. Um, so we were told March, and that was like six months ago. So I don't know if it's actually going to be March or maybe it's going to go higher. The price is so much higher. What's going on? I need some direction before I make a plan, right? What can make the Cardano project fail? How likely? I would say governments. Governments is really the big thing, you know, but it's, it's not going to make it fail. It's just going to kind of slow down the rate. But at the same time, if you think about it, governments actually sped this up for us with COVID and all the printing uh, and all the monetary policy. They, they actually helped cryptocurrency, right? So in the same way they can help us, uh, they can also hurt us, right? Um, but that's the biggest thing for me. But if you guys look back at Bitcoin, there was actually a double spend bug in Bitcoin and look at where Bitcoin's at today. So just because there's this big catastrophic issue doesn't mean that Cardano's over. Marcelo said, should bot trading be put to the map somehow so we avoid random massive dips like yesterday? There's no way to put that on the map, man. There's no way to stop that, in my opinion. CF said, keep up the sweet content, though. Thanks, man. Call me greedy, and then you give me a compliment. I, li I like that. You, you know, you keep me on a you keep me on a, a leash in a way, you know. There's 134 likes. Let's get that up, man. Click that like button. Tuama says, camera is great. Thanks, man. I do like it. I do like it. I'm definitely going to have to, like, actually... Put your computer screen up with the cam. There's no way to do that. There's no way to do that. I have to actually look individually when I talk. Uh, Ruan, I don't do price predictions, man. I don't. Aaron said, is a taxable event when you send one from, an, from one wallet to another? Um, that's hard to say. I want to say yes. Yes, it is. It is. But I would ask somebody who's more qualified for that question. One over one over ten twenty four said Bloom will create more pools because of K. Yeah. So the way we design Bloom is to provide the best value for our delegates, right? So if there's a change in the A not parameter, um, and we have to pledge X amount to give our delegates the best reward, um, then we're going to do so. You know. So uh, really, we're just going to base uh, how many pools we have, um, and and also the pledge, uh, the fee structure. Uh, we're going to base that on the market. Really, it's. Our goal is to provide the best experience for our customers and also provide value to the blockchain through videos. And like I said, we've, we're working on a bunch of stuff in the background. Um, Rebel said, hey, from Riga, Latvia, or Latvia, not Latvia, I'm a weenie. Um, if I set up my pool with 10K ADA, will it just sit there and wait for other people to join before it starts earning anything? How does a pool become active and start processing? So what you actually need for a pool to start minting blocks is ADA. Right, so ADA in the network is essentially your hashing power. Um, to get a block per epoch, 
uh, you realistically need about off the top of my head, I want to say about 1.2 million and per a block per epoch. But let's say you have 500,000. That's okay. You don't have to get a block every epoch, but it's going to be like every other epoch or Maybe if you have 300,000, it's going to be every third epoch, right? So even if you have 20,000, it could be every 20 epochs, right? So to get your pool producing and everything set up correctly, then all you need is ADA, right? And then the more ADA you have staked, uh, the better you're going to do. In 2018, I invested 5K into Cardano. Now I have 26K. You're, you're, a, you're a mastermind. I have been waiting for this moment for three years. Now temptation to sell. It's nice, man. I'm happy to hear that success story, man. It's really cool. Yeah, I, I'm not selling. You know, you, there's nothing wrong with taking a little bit of profit on the way up, man. But selling after waiting for three years, not financial advice, but it seems a little early. Alejandro said, I hope it dips below 0.7. It did last night. Cardano need good wallet like MetaMask. We have one. It's called Uroi. Look up the Uroi wallet, man. Yeah, I really need some soundproofing in here. This is killing me. King said, he, King Kenny said, what type of camera is it, Big Pay? It's a Sony a7 II is what I got. Andrew said, no, not taxable event between wallets. Depends on the wallets. What if one's my bank account or one, I consider it my bank account wallet and one's my business wallet. If I send it between those two wallets, it's a taxable event. You know, it really depends on how you structure it. You know, this stuff is a big, big gray area. Burton Roberts says, I love Bloom. We'll be sending you another bag. Your contract is fantastic. Love your dedication to this community. Thanks so much, man. I really appreciate that. Yeah, so I want, I want to get some cool stuff in the background. If you guys have any suggestions, feel free. But um, what I want is a big Bloom painting. <laughs> how cool would it be? I'll pay, if you guys, if any of you are artists, I'll pay one of you for just a big Bloom painting that I can put in the background. How awesome would that be? I know I got this bland and boring room, um, but this room was empty before I just, you know, moved everything in it. Uh, but this is the new setup. I hope you guys like it. I'm going to make it better. Mix, oh, Mix Mix said, need help pay? Overwhelmed. But dude, it's very easy to get overwhelmed in this community, man. Um, what is it? What do you need help with? And I'll, I'll help you out, man. I see in the past when Bitcoin goes up, so does Cardano. When Bitcoin goes into a bear market, Cardano falls. Do you think Cardano will break away from Bitcoin when Bitcoin falls? In the current state, I would say no. No, it's not going to, right? Especially if we have this big cryptocurrency dip. You know, with everything going on right now, there would have to be a reason to see a big dip, you know? Uh, no, I think Cardano is going to go right with it. We're not to the phase yet. Uh, we're, we're just going to go off into our own, uh, our own path, you know? Do you recommend putting an ADA on a ledger and then in a safety deposit box with long? That's that's pretty smart, Aaron. That's pretty uh, that's pretty good. Uh, AW said, new crib, who dis? That's how I feel right now, man. That's how I feel. You can see my old 80s hardwood floors. <laughs> um, yeah, but ADA on the ledger is, is safe, man. It's safe. It's much better than keeping it in a wallet. Um, I'm going to have to skip down. So if I missed your question, just put it in again. I need to restart. You know, things are picking up. 260 people here. Make sure you guys click that like button if you're enjoying it so far. I do these every Monday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Huge news coming in February. Will it be Coinbase listing or mainnet? Um, it's not going to be mainnet for sure. Um, it could be a Coinbase listing, man. Who knows? Um, but it could also be PayPal. It could be Cash App. It could be a million things, man. In that video, I said, like, who else would it be? The reason I said that is because Coinbase is kind of the biggest liquidity event, whereas PayPal might give us a bump. Uh, or as Cash App might give us a bump, but Coinbase is true, true liquidity, especially in the United States, you know, where, where New York, uh, with millions of people, um, they can't even buy ADA without using some trash app like Voyager. You know, Coinbase isn't too good either, to be honest, but yeah, plants in the corner. You're right, man. I do need a nice tree. I got to add some, I got to put this, put this place alive. Alejandro said, I hope this week we have a dip like we had last week. Not financial advice, but every time I hear people say that, we go to the top, man. Matthew said, by the way, it doesn't have to be expensive sound treatment. A shelf, plants, or anything will diffuse the reflections. Okay, that makes a lot of sense, man, because in my other room, you know, it was my room. Um, it wasn't bad at all, you know. AAW said, when bent, um, it'll probably be released tomorrow or Wednesday. I have it all done. It's all done. It's all edited. Um, but it's actually pretty annoying. I, I have a sponsor uh, for that, but I have to send them the video so they can review it uh, beforehand. 
Um, so that's why it's not up yet. TXT said, I'll have my roommate hit you up on Twitter. She's a great LA-based artist. I would love that, man. I would love to have a beautiful bloom painting in the background. That'd be so sick. Like an oil painting or something. <laughs> I like this from Dual Citizen. You know, this is the two sides, right? It is, it is there's something definitely ironic um, about taking your ledger or your cryptocurrency seed phrase and putting it in a, in a security deposit box. Uh, there's definitely something ironic about that. So he says, get a fire fireproof safe and some guns. You know, that's the two sides right there. Um, Christian said, selling all my ADA for Doge. Jokes. <laughs> I hope not, man. I hope not. Hey, Pay, last week you said you've been you've got King Charles coming on your podcast. Any idea when this will be so I can tune in? Um, I think it's February 20th, so much sooner than I thought. I gotta start prepping. Gonna start prepping for the man, the myth, the legend that is Charles Hoskinson. Could this crash just be all the newcomers and crypto selling a bit? Kind of kidding, but also not kind of kidding. Oh, to pay for Valentine's Day. If they're selling to pay for Valentine's Day, man, what what are they buying their girls, man? <laughs> um, I don't think so, man. What I think it was was a bit of a flash crash. You know, maybe you had a big whale, not financial advice, sell, um, and then it kind of just hit the bots. You know, because people have. Um, like certain sell or certain buys at, at certain points. So um, if it really goes too fast, it starts to hit a lot of those, you know, so. When we have the first decks on Cardano, where do you think Cardano assets from Mary Hard Fork can be traded? Um, they're not going to be able to be traded anywhere, really, unless it's peer to peer. Um, but the first DEX, I would say, is probably not going to come too shortly after April, you know, when we have smart contracts released. Um, as long as all the functionality that we need is there, I'm sure there's going to be somebody that's already been cooking it up for sure. Nolan said, You need to make that room bloom. I'm trying to, man. I'm trying to. Hothia said, Cardano should have unofficially make Three Little Birds by Bob Marley a song of choice. Hey, man, you could do that. You know, it's unofficial. You know, no one owns Cardano. That could be you, man. Alex said, I bought the dip at 77. Nice, man. Nice, man. Look pretty good right now. I have two ideas for blockchain projects that I want to build on Cardano, but I am no dev. Where can I find some techie partners? Project Catalyst. Catalyst? Or I think it's project.catalyst.com. Let me, let me look that up. Or is it... Okay, so it's cardano.ideascale.com. That's, that's where you should find some techie partners. They have, um, it's a site where you can actually submit proposals and you can collaborate with other people. So, Dual said, the flash crash last night was most likely institutional selling. Exactly, man. It just started hitting those. You need a neon sign in the background, like a true YouTuber for sure, man. Or like one of those, what are those things, the lights that always flow and they're kind of like little diamonds. I forget what they're called. Every YouTuber has those things, man. If I had ADA delegated to Bloom, then buy more ADA on Coinex and then add it to Daedalus. Uh, good question, man. This is a common one. Does that newly acquired ADA become delegated automatically? Yes, it does. So why does that happen? It's because you have four keys in your wallet. Uh, you have a, a staking key that's public and private and you have a payment public and private key. So what you do when you delegate is you delegate all of these keys. So when you add more ADA in, every snapshot, you know, so every epoch's five days. So at the end of the five days, it checks. It says, this guy got any more ADA in that wallet? Um, and then you do. So then it just, um, it starts up that cycle. But if you remember where it took like three epochs of 15 to 20 days that first time around, um, what's gonna happen this time around is it's gonna take another 15 to 20 days before you start receiving increased rewards from the additional ADA added. Where in Ohio are you? I'm in Columbus. Ed MC said, hey, pay, big cheers. What's up? Gamma says, GFs are for posies. <laughs> Hopefully YouTube doesn't catch that. Posies. Why do you say that, man? Who hurt you? Who hurt you? Rebel said, what future events, in your opinion, will raise the price of ADA? Coinbase, Africa, government use? I mean, all those sound like it would increase the price, but Rebel... Maybe maybe we shouldn't just be chasing these price increases. Maybe we should be looking for real long-term value. Uh, Darko said, how do you think Cardano is solving the geographical lottery problem? I think enterprise 
deals with Africa or enterprise deals with Atala is key. It's a good thought, man. But as far as the, oh, the, ge the geographical lottery problem, like essentially wherever you're born, you know, you're going to have a much higher probability um, of having a better life. Well, um, I think cryptocurrency as a whole is definitely going to help that problem. You know, when, when you essentially give everyone in the world the ability to trade, you know, uh, you have this global trade, um, then I think it's really going to add to that because then, I don't know, but then maybe it's just going to leave other places having the same ge ge like geographical problems, you know, so that, that's a hard thing. But I think enterprise deals with Atala is key. Um, also, maybe governmental deals with Atala and some of these developing nations that um, is going to start them kind of further ahead on the te technology train, you know, than in Africa. Um, but yeah, I, I think that the geographical lottery problem will always be a problem no matter what, you know, maybe the United States um, isn't going to be the best place to live in, in 20 years, you know, or even 10 years, you know, so there's no stopping that, I don't think. Um, but there's 180 likes and 280 people here. Make sure you guys click that like button if you are enjoying it. I, I hate saying it, but it's important. I got to get you guys pumping me in that algorithm, man. Um, Chinese New Year said is the main reason for the dip. Why, why is that? Taxes? AB said, hi, Pay, do you think it's healthy for, for the network if big stake pool operators keep on making branches of their stake pools instead of supporting small stake pool operators? Um, so I actually mentioned this earlier, man. It's it's definitely, it's it's a hard question, you know, um, because then you get in the, it's like earlier I saw somebody that, this this kind of it rubbed me the wrong way. It, it's, it's not easy to make me upset, but this angered me. Someone replied um, and they were like, oh, big pay, when you started, you said that you're only going to have one pool. And now you have six. I replied and said, no, man, I started and I had two pools and it was based. I had that based on demand. Right. And then I, he's like, oh, oh, OK. Uh, well, well, I think four is OK. Oh, so you think four is OK, but six isn't? Well, what, well, Binance thinks 68 is cool. Or, or when K increases even more, Binance thinks 236 is cool. Well, well, Charles says two. Or well, Big Pay says whatever he has, right? This is a, 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 a protocol problem. that It's an, a protocol incentive problem that has to be solved at the protocol layer with the incentive model. There's no reason uh, to, to really talk shit or, or morally uh, do anything about this. It's a protocol incentive problem. And that's the only way you're going to solve it because Binance is going to still have 250, right? Um, it's just that that really rubbed me the wrong way. Well, I think this is cool. And that's what this argument is. That's, I mean, that's exactly what the argument is because I'm telling you, me running two pools versus one um, is not going to be detrimental to the Cardano network at all. Um, and if it were, uh, then there's some issues with the Cardano network. Um, three to six, so three pools to six pools. I mean, really, what's the difference there? It's, it's literally whatever number that you draw a line at. The, the only like absolute thing that, okay, you're ethically right, I would say is one pool. You know, you're like, okay, one pool that that's, I am God. Right. But at the same time, what, I mean, what if you, what if you run a YouTube channel and it's just your pool is saturated literally forever. I mean, we have people that have delegated for, to bloom um, since day one, you know, and, and people have lost, it's just crazy, man. And it's like, well, is it four? Is it six? Well, what if K goes to 10,000? Um, and I have enough ADA to saturate one pool. Well, I have enough ADA, so 10 and a half is cool. You know, it's just, it's it's a, it's a protocol incentive problem. And, and if people do see that as a problem, um, then that's something that we need to look at and we can have like actual uh, good discussions about it. I mean, that's not a bad question at all, man. I, and I didn't, my anger wasn't voiced at you. Is that the one guy that said, oh, well, I think four is cool. What? You know what I mean? Dual Citizen said it bounced back really quick. I agree, man. I agree. It did bounce back really quick. Um, so if I missed your question, I'm having to scroll back down again. I, I went on a long rant, uh, but make sure you guys click that like button. <laughs> Wade said, nice. It's a sweet city. Yeah, Columbus isn't bad. It's definitely uh, one of the best places I've lived in. Um, could you please care clarify delegation? If I understand delegating is, is the wallet address and the entire balance in that wallet. So now when you delegate you actually delegate your keys, right? Your staking keys and your payment keys. And it's any ADA in the addresses generated from those payment keys, right? Does that make sense? If it doesn't, ask me. Not sure why pay 
But it's a known event in the markets that Chinese New Year brings dip in the markets. Yeah, I, I didn't know that. You know, I'm not a big market guy. Um, but I mean, I was just curious as to why, you know, maybe it's taxes. What major lifestyle changes will profits and aid allow you to incorporate in your life? Financial, philosophy, health, diet, etc. Um, so really, so for example, I'm not a big, I'm not a big materialist guy. You know, I'm not, you know, if I, if I had a bunch of money, um, I wouldn't be um, buying a bunch of things, you know, unless it was like an inordinate amount and those things were, were kind of meaningless in the grand scale of things. But um, for me, the biggest thing, and I've said this for years that, that I would like to have money for is food. You know, I, I truly believe like what you put in your body is, is what you're going to be made of, right? So um, having the ability um, to eat good, clean, healthy food is just um, such a privilege that I would, I would be grateful for, you know? So that's really the biggest thing for me is being able to eat uh, good, healthy, clean food consistently, you know, and, and not really have to put the trash in my body that um, is, is a lot of the, at a lot of the supermarkets in the United States and at a lot of the fast food places. Um, so that's the big one. Um, as far as like maybe lifestyle changes, like, full, like we'll, we'll keep on the health stuff. So for one thing is like a float tank, you know, I could never afford a float tank. I really still can't um, because of how expensive it is per hour. Um, but maybe in the future I'll be able to, you know, or uh, maybe I can have a gym at home or a sauna at home, you know. So that's really what I think about is um, ways that are just going to make me feel feel happier and feel cleaner, you know, because I have a lot of autoimmune issues. So when I actually eat better and I take better care of myself, um, I think better, I think quicker, I can learn things at a, at a much higher rate than I normally do. So really that's what comes to my mind. The next one is travel, but this really ties into um, really philosophy and life, right? So when I have the ability at any time um, to, you know, go see somebody that's in a different state or uh, go visit a place, you know, I mean, that's huge, you know, for, for your mental state. Um, so that's really what I think about, you know, I don't really have like, oh, I want a Lambo or, uh, oh, I want this big house. You know, what I want is, um, I was telling Anthony at this from Bloom, I want a house that I have a sauna in. How awesome would it be to sit in a sauna and then go to your shower afterwards, you know, before you go into work? You know, that's kind of my dream. Um, and also the ability to travel, like I mentioned earlier. So let me close that door real quick. You know, it would be really cool too, um, actually having, having doors like that actually work. <laughs> That'd be a good lifestyle change. Having doorknobs that actually close when you close the door, um, or having a house that, that doesn't have uh, the paint falling off the ceiling. Or if you guys remember the, the poop doctor story, the sewer exploding and, and poop falling from the sky, um, that'd be a nice lifestyle change for sure. Yeah. All the doorknobs in my house, cause it's such an old, it's not my house. I rent it and I live, um, I live somewhere where all the houses are like this. It's, they're all like this. Like the paint's falling off the walls, everything's falling apart, the doors are messed up, the floors are coming apart, and you get splinters when you walk on it. That would be nice, man. That'd be a good lifestyle change. But let's get some questions coming. I talked too much on that one. It's a good question though, man. Stacy Wright said, I owe anything under $3 is a bargain going forward. Simon said, sup, pay? Where do you find keys in Daedalus? Um, you can't find state keys in Daedalus. Um, you have to do some, some, some jiggy stuff to get those out of there, man. Could you give me a quick explanation on the concept of dApps? So a dApp is a decentralized application, right? So it's oh, a good question, man. It's hard. So really what you need for a dApp to work right, is smart contracts, right? And smart contracts at its soul is just a, a contract between two people. It can be very simple. It's, mm -hmm. Let's talk about something uh, really simple, right? You want to loan me $10,000 and I have to pay you that $10,000 uh, in 10 months at a 5% interest rate. And you state that if I don't, then you take some collateral that I put and maybe that's like a loan to value ratio or, or anything. Um, and if I don't pay you for three months, then you take that collateral but then I have to stop paying you. So when you start to think, what is a decentralized application? Well, it's really just an, an application that's on a decentralized network, right? So um, imagine you go to just a random website like Uniswap, for example. Well, what Uniswap is, it's an application in your browser and you sign a smart contract between two people that states 
We're both going to trade at the same time and no one can screw each other over. So really smart contracts are what allow decentralized applications to work. But what is a decentralized application? It's just uh, an application that operates on a decentralized network, right? Um, but there's always going to be some centralized aspects to it. Um, like, for example, like, for example, uh, the website, you know, app.uniswap.org, I mean, or whatever it is, .io, um, that's definitely, it's definitely like that. Anthony said, Snowmageddon. Yeah, I keep hearing about that. I keep hearing about that. AB Play says, thanks, man. I'm just concerned that our protocol is in the, be in the beginning stages and we might alienate new people to the system. Um, and I understand that later on the platform is more, more mature and it can handle. Um, yeah, man, no, there's nothing wrong. If, if, if anyone thinks any, anything's wrong with the protocol, man, then, then I'm, I'm definitely willing to talk about that. You know, I'm just trying to kind of explain my thoughts on it. Mixed Mix said, how do I get in touch? Come to the Discord server, man. There's a link down below. You join that Discord server. I'll, I'll help you out. And there's a lot of other people that can help you too. Robin said, eight is back at 90. Breaking 91 now. Awesome. How cool would it be if we hit a dollar right now? <laughs> just kidding. Um, I am a programmer in bioinformatics. Trying to move my genome analysis software to Singularity Net. This stuff looks effing amazing. Cardano AGI. Communities are amazing. What is the best way to start? Just by educating yourself and, and learning, man, uh, and learning. I actually just talked to Ben Gortzel, and um, he, he's honestly one of the smartest people I've ever talked to. Um, it, was, it was crazy, man. He, he really connected a lot of things for me, and I, I learned a lot from um, our one-hour conversation. I'm going to be uploading very soon, so if you guys want to check that out, make sure you click that like button uh, and click the subscribe button, notification bell all, so you don't miss it. Um, but it was, it was really fun. Um, that's like... I'm starting to realize how cool all this, like I'm not, I mean, dude, I'm, I'm so grateful for this, man. Like seriously, I just get to get on here and answer you guys' questions and help you about stuff that I know and I'm already interested in. And I get to have people on that I've looked up to like Ben Gortzel and Charles Hoskinson and anybody else that I have on in the future. Um, it's it's really, a, it's a beautiful thing, man. It is, it's, it's so cool and I'm so grateful. Um, and I couldn't do it without you guys, man. Uh, Poldy said, have you heard of the Wim Hof method? I have. I have heard of the Wim Hof method. I haven't tried it though. I've always been scared of the cold. You know, I like the sauna. Um, I like releasing my, my heat shock proteins and I like all the benefits from that. And I'm sure the cold does a lot of similar things. Um, but I think he says it's with brown fat. I mean, not the same method, but um, I have just, the cold's always something about it. Maybe it's because I'm from Ohio, um, but the heat is where I'm at, man. I, I might get into it in the future though. There's nothing wrong with a little bit of pain, especially if it makes you more clear, clear minded, you know, thanks for the explanation on daps, dude. Appreciate it. No problem, man. It's a complicated thing. I'm, I'm, you're going to probably have to read about it like five more times before you get it. And I'm not sure I 100% get it right. I do, but I don't, you know, it's just, this is such a constantly evolving and a thing and complicated thing that it takes a while. Dual citizen said, I'm in Indy. The snow is heading your way. That's what I keep hearing, man. I keep hearing that. George says, all my aid is on your pools. I'm a little late, but better now than later. Hey, man, it's all relative, man. You're probably not late. <laughs> I like this, man. Reams is, Reams is our like spirit animal here. He says, I'm being consumed by the gains, man. How do you cope with success? <laughs> I love it, man. I love it. How do you cope with success? I don't know. Um, I haven't. I haven't had a lot of success to, to actually learn the success coping mechanisms, but um, I would just really try to, you know, maybe not financial advice, but maybe take a little bit of profits out, you know, so you're prepared for anything, but you might be consumed with some more success here too, man. If you figure that out, let me know. Alex said, how much ADA have you invested in? I don't tell people how much ADA I've invested in, man. It's not smart to tell people how much money you have online, um, especially when you're talking to almost 300 people. Um, but I mean, obviously I've been here since three cents. So, I mean, you guys know I have some ADA, but how can I send my current ADA holdings to Bloom Staking Pool? I'm using ADA Lite right now. Um, so I actually, I have a video on that. Let me, let me send that to you, man. So if I were you, I would stop using ADA Lite um, and I would actually use the Uroi wallet, right? So what you can do is you can do how to stake your Roy and then B-I-G-P-E-Y and that should come up with something. Yep, right there and I'll send you that link in the chat, man. And I appreciate you so much for asking me that question, man. And I appreciate you so much for your support of Bloom. It means the world, man. It means the world, it truly does. 
Diogo said, are you going to hold ADA during a bear market? I'm going to buy ADA during a bear market. What do you mean, dude? That's the whole strat. That's what we do. That's what we do, man. The bear markets where the, mo the real money's made. Or really the, the real value, the, the assets, the asset allocation happens. And the bull markets, you're like, ah, it's finally happening. All those stressful years, they're paying off, man. Formula E said, hey, what is your strategy pertaining to using your staking rewards to enhance your lifestyle? Do you wait over a year to take advantage of the long term capital gains tax? This is something I've been thinking. Um, so I don't really, I haven't thought about living off staking rewards to enhance my lifestyle. You know, I, I think that's kind of, it'd be cool. To, I guess to enhance is not bad, but I see a lot of people say that they're going to live off of them. Um, and to me, that seems a little naive um, unless you just have millions of ADA, you know, um, but I haven't really thought of that, man, but I am just keeping them, you know, so you have to pay income tax on when they're, they're received, at least where I live. Um, and then the rest I just keep, you know, so. Johnny said, I'll buy your ADA for six cents, double your money. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> um, you're Royan Ledger for the win. I agree, man. I agree. Vitalik said recently that layer two for ETH is still years away. Great news for ETH competitors. For sure, man. For sure. Uh, Padir said, hello, Big Pay. Hello. There's a bunch of new people here. Make sure you guys click that like button. The more, the merrier when it comes to these things. Smee said, thanks a lot, man. No problem. No problem. Thank you for being here, man. I don't think you guys realize how fun this is for me. You know, I mean, how cool is it that I can get on here and answer questions for you guys and, and you guys love it. I mean, you guys eat this shit up. At least some of you do. I mean, I've had people message me and say, I'm so excited for Monday. And it's like, my heart. <laughs> it's just cool, man. It's so cool to be able to do this. Uh, what's the issue with Ada Light? Um, unless you're using a ledger, I'm not a big fan of it. I don't know. I just don't like that they allow you to actually use wallet files. That's kind of my issue with it. Um, but they work with IOG. I mean, they're a reputable company. Alex says, bear equals value. If Cardano goes down or up, it's win for Cardano because we know it'll only go up. It's lower value, man. Diego said, sure, I'm going to buy more, but I have a bag that I don't sell for five years minimum. I like that, man. I like the long-term thinking. Michael said, I will live off the rewards and hold the main amount. I hope you can, man. I wish you the best of luck with that. You know, but I don't know. Something about that scares me. Something about that scares me. Will the reward of 1,000 ADA per block staked vary when adoption accelerates? Um, I, the only thing that I know that it's tied to uh, a little bit to the ADOT parameter, the total stake, um, also the rewards decay, it's going to change for sure. It's going to change. And also when the D parameter goes down, there's less ADA per block. So it's not going to be the same. No. Darwesh says Coinbase news question mark. I haven't heard of any Coinbase news. That'd be pretty cool. If that was true, if we just Google ADA, I bet Coinbase would come up if it was a list. You guys ever just do that? You just Google the word ADA and see if Coinbase comes up. You're like, is today the day? <laughs> oh, the American with Disabilities Act. That's not what I was looking for. Sup, dude? What a, what a year so far. I, I said that like Anthony does. Are you did, did Crypto Crow's live stream just end? Are you guys all coming here from over there? Make sure you click that like button. You missed the first half. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. I would love to talk to Crypto Crow sometime, man. We live in the same place. I reached out to him, but he ignored me. He ignored me. He hates me. Um, why do rewards not show up as transactions? Um, that's a pretty annoying. I agree. But it's because they're paid to your staking address. So they're not truly transactions. But what I think Daedalus should do is just give you a fake transaction that shows, yep, you got your rewards today. You know, a uh, general rule in trading is to buy and don't sell the dips. So that's some good advice, man. But it wasn't for me. It wasn't financial from your boy. Remember that. Matt, Matt I said, never selling 70% of my bag. Sounds like a good strap, man. Alex said, I'm excited when Ada gets on Coinbase. Me too, man. Me too. It's going to be, um, it's going to be really cool to actually 
it's going to be really cool to actually say, hey, grandma, you can just go to Coinbase and buy it there. You know, one saying is buy the blood. Or I think it's Warren Buffett was like, buy when there's blood on the streets. It's funny that how many people quote that. When I was like, when I was really, I still am young, but when I was younger, um, I, my parents would be like, why do, you, why do you put all your money in this, this cryptocurrency? And I'd look at them, I'd say, buy when there's blood on the streets. <laughs> and they would just look at me like I was crazy. It's so funny, man. Another is buy the rumor and sell the news, the old classics. You're, you're telling us the classics. I want to create a unique charity coin to help worthwhile charitable causes. Can it be created on the Cardano blockchain? If so, how do I proceed? Yeah, it can. It can be created. Um, um, come to my Discord server down below. It's discord.gg. You should see that link. I'll help you out, man. I'll help you out. Uh, what, when projects are built on Cardano, will the rewards increase as well? They will. They will. Uh, it's when the transactions increase. You get more rewards. What's about Twitter? Decentralization. Blue sky, etc. John Short said, oh, 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 oh. That's a, I have a video on that uh, two, 2D game. Uh, watch my video. It's a speculative video. Um, I think the Twitter stuff is a little far-fetched, um, but the other two things seem pretty reasonable in that video to me. Um, but there's 294 people here and only 260 likes. Can we get those above 300 right now? It'd be pretty cool. <laughs> CMS said, Crypto Crow ignored you. I'll give him a hard time. No, it, it, I was just joking. Um, I understand completely where he's coming from because... When you get a decent amount of views, you get so, so many messages, man. So, so many messages. He doesn't know who I am. Um, and it's not like it matters who I am, truly. Uh, John said, Pay, hey, you look high as F. Do you really think that I would do that? Do you really think that I would partake in the devil's lettuce and come to a live stream for 300 people? It's not God's will, man. It's not God's will. Please never say that again. Uh, I finally made it back to the AMA. Welcome back, Brad. How you doing, man? Roy said, nice skipping my question. I sat here waiting for you to move down the list. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Great job, Pay. Love these updates. Thanks so much, Brad. You've been here for forever, man. I remember you, you're one of the OGs. You're one of the OGs, man. But thank you, man. I really appreciate the support. I like to see Cardano listed on Gemini and PayPal too. Well, yeah, all of us do. Start with breathing. Hmm. Start with breathing. 288 likes. We're getting there. We're getting there. Don't ask Charles about Coinbase. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to start the live stream uh, with him. I'm, I'm doing a live stream with Charles in like five days. I'm going to say, one Coinbase, buddy. Ada now mooning. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh. Um, sorry about that. I have to remember you guys like, or you, you might have me in headphones. I'm sorry. Um, hey, Pei, hope, hope you're doing well. This is from Kaizen. Have a beer with y'all. We're having a beer for you all. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. It's time to celebrate, man. They're saying the price is pumping. Let's go see what we're at. Let's see if this beer is warranted. We're at 90 cents. Hell yeah. But thank you so much for coming by, Kaizen. I hope you're doing well, man. I enjoyed your most recent video, brother. I hope you enjoyed that beer. What kind of beer are you drinking, man? Got an IPA or a Natty? What kind of guy are you, Kaizen? Um, Peter said, stats going way up. Love your updates. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, man. Have you guys been looking at the YouTube views lately? It's pretty crazy, man. And I really do appreciate the support. Um, I, I really do, man. It means the world. Like, I, like, I've just been having so much fun lately, you know? Like, you guys have made my life really cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like just being able to, to work. And I mean, I work long hours. I really do. And I'm not saying that to be an asshole, but I do it because I enjoy it. You know, like I worked all day on my birthday. I woke up at 7 a.m. and worked probably until like 9 p.m. on my birthday. And I was thrilled. I got to talk to Ben Gortzel, you know? So just thank you guys, man. Uh, Beyond Time said you religious pay. Um, not, not in like a traditional sense, you know, I don't have a, a set religion or anything. That was a joke. John Short, n n no, John, I was joking, man. You didn't offend me. I'm not somebody who's e easily offended. It was just a joke. I thought maybe I was too serious, man. Ser I was too serious. 
but no, man, I, I, I would, to me, that doesn't seem very classy. And that's what I meant by it. it was, I was just making a joke, but I wouldn't want to come on a live stream or an AMA um, and, and drink or, or smoke weed or do any type of substance that would take me out of my natural state during an AMA. Um, unless it was like a, if maybe drinking at a celebration or like a summit or something, I would do that. Um, but I really would like to be at my best for you guys, you know, because I look back at some of my AMAs where I'm not at my best. And that doesn't mean I was under a substance, but maybe I didn't eat the best food the night before. Maybe I didn't fast. Maybe I didn't go to the gym. Um, I'm not as quick and I don't answer the questions as well. And I feel like I can't educate you guys as well as I would like to. Um, so that's why um, I would never partake in any substance before doing um, an AMA or a video or a live stream of any sort, because um, when I when I'm at when I'm in a good state, you know, in a flow state, um, that's when I can really try to help out the best way that I can, you know, and that's when I actually have the funnest time, you know. I'm, I'm sure it would be fun um, to do a live stream where you know you're just drinking a couple drinks, you know, but that would have to be saved for like a celebration of sort, you know, like a a one dollar party or a summit or something, you know. Do you know why Ada rewards need to be collected manually and not automatically? I do know that, Rebel. That's a great question. So you only actually have to collect them manually on your ROI. Daedalus does it for you, but I don't like that Daedalus does it for you. So the reason is, so I mentioned earlier, I said there's four keys, right? And these four keys is a staking public and private and a payment public and private, right? So am I inverted? I'm inverted still, okay. So a staking public and private and... Oh, the inverted thing messed me up. Okay, so what you do with the staking and public private key and the payment public and private key is you generate addresses, right? So you use these two keys in, the, in, in Linux CLI and you generate an address. And then people actually send ADA to this address. But if you want to send that ADA somewhere else, you use the payment in public to send the ADA somewhere else. That's what you use to sign the transaction, right? Well, it's the same thing for staking. You actually generate a staking address the same way you would as the ADDR one, um, but you just don't know it. They hide it from you. It's hidden back be in, in, behind the scenes. But the rewards are actually paid to the staking address, right? So the rewards are paid to the staking address, excuse me, and when you actually want to withdraw them, you have to sign a transaction using both your staking public and private key and your main public and private key to withdraw the rewards from the staking address to the regular address, which is the ADDR1. But remember, all four of those keys are all interconnected, so you could just leave them there, and you don't actually have to withdraw them. What they're gonna do is they're just gonna keep staking and keep building up and keep compounding, right? So really the only reason you would actually need to withdraw them is if you're gonna send them to another wallet, right? Could the African bird... Oh, sorry. I zoned out again. I always read a second question then. See, imagine. I mean, I'm so I'm so ADD, sober, and fasted. I mean, imagine me with the devil's lettuce. I mean, it would be ridiculous, man. Could Africa bird be a deal with Uganda? Could be, man. You never know. They have a bird on the flag, and Charles mentioned it. Yeah. We're all looking for symbology, man. It's it's pretty fun trying to trying to figure out what he's trying to say. Peter said, yeah, it's real fun. I love to do the statistics, get in contact with a lot of people in the world this way. Great community. Yeah, I, I like your statistics too, man. Especially like the new the new ADA wallets every day, how many people are staking. It's really cool, man. And a lot of people seem to love it too. So it is a great way um, for you to get connected with the community because everyone loves it so much that we're all kind of like, oh, what's Peter got today, man? That's cool. Um, CT Guitar Dude said, do you feel living off Cardano rewards is unrealistic? I do agree it would have to be the top worth millions in USD. And then some, yeah, man, it would have to, you'd have to have millions of dollars in USD to live off that. I mean, let's say it's 5% steady, which is almost unrealistic. Let's say 5% steady forever. Well, that's 50 grand per year um, at a million dollars, right? So, I mean, you could live off that easily, man. I mean, I, I, I've lived off, I, I do live off way less than that now, right? So it's, it's feasible, right? But it's just, it seems unrealistic in the sense of, how risky it is, right? Maybe you could live off of that to do something that you love that maybe will provide more value to your life in the future. But uh, me personally, man, I couldn't imagine just living off of something that's going to keep paying me and then I'm not going to do anything. You know, I'm definitely going to find something else um, to continue working, you know, having fun, providing value and doing something. And usually when you provide value in any way, value comes back to you, you know, um, 
Blake said, true, but some people are at their best on a substance. I don't agree with that, man. I don't agree with that at all, Blake. Um, I think people are at their best when they're in their flow state, right? They're in some sort of, when they're feeling themselves, when they're in tune with themselves, right? And sometimes substances can make you reach that state, that flow state, um, but you're not your best when you're on that substance. You're just your best when you're at that flow state, you know? Um, and, and maybe sometimes, yeah, I'll just leave it there. So for how long do you fast normally? I try to do, I usually try to do at minimum um, eight, 16, but often, especially on AMA days, it's a lot more, maybe it's 24 hours because I'll fast all day and then I'll do the AMA at 3 p.m. Um, and then I'll eat afterwards, you know, so. Do you think we'll have another chance to buy around 50 cents again? Or do you think we're past the point of no return? I have no idea, man. I have no idea. I mean, we were at, we were below 50 cents, I think less than a month ago. So it wouldn't surprise me one bit. I mean, we saw 67 last night. So could easily happen again, man. Not financial advice. Could easily never happen again, man. I don't know shit. Um, I wish I was a time traveler so I could go back, back in time and grab a bite, grab a bite of millions of Ada. Yeah, man. But you, I, I try, I do that stuff in my head. I try to do that stuff in my head. I'm like, well, if I, if I went back in time, um, but if I went back in time, I wouldn't have had the money to buy millions of eight in the first place. I was so damn young, you know? No need to give us the fingers, pay. Think of YouTube. What do you mean, give us the fingers? Tell me, Braveheart. <laughs> Beyond Time said, you're you cool, man. Thanks. That's very kind of you. When are you having been on here? Um, it should be up tomorrow or the day after. Jeff said, what up, pay? That bounce back was hella fast. It really was, man. What's up, Jeff from Swag State Pool? How are you doing, man? Yeah, I, it was pretty. It was a pretty quick dip. I, I was literally, I looked at the price on Ada Pools. I was doing some pool registrations and uh, I saw it was at like 85 cents and then somebody texted me. That's how I know the Ada price. Either I see it on Ada Pools when I'm doing pool stuff or someone texts me. So someone texts me like, dude, dude, it's at 67 cents. And I'm like, I'm like, shit, that was quick. That was quick, man. Uh, Rebel said, thanks for the amazing answer about the reward withdrawals. Makes a lot of sense. Thanks, man. I'm happy that made sense. <laughs> Touchette said, it's not the devil's lettuce. God doesn't make mistakes. <laughs> You're right. You're right. It's, uh, it's God's lettuce, man. Um, Pay, do you think we're in a shift to a new monetary paradigm? I kind of do, man. I kind of do. But at the same time, Kingston, it's pretty naive for us all to say, yeah, this is it. This is the crash that's not going to happen. You know, seems naive to me, but I do feel like we're on the verge of a new, a new paradigm. I do. I do. Dude, I, I got to admit, I got to admit, I love this new setup. It's so cool, man. I like it. It's going to be really cool, man. And, and, Give me a couple, like maybe a month. It's going to be sick. I've been working on a lot of stuff behind the scenes that you guys are going to like. I mean, okay, put it this way. If what I'm telling you on the front is a podcast with Charles and Ben Gortzel, what's going on in the background? Big Pay's got his own birds. <laughs> Rebel said, what other projects are you excited about? Algorand? Um, I, I, it's bad, man. I just don't have enough time in the day. The other projects that I'm excited about, um, really right now is Singularity Net because that's just, I just talked to Ben Gortzel. So of course I'm excited about Singularity Net. Um, but I don't look into other projects enough. I like Bitcoin. I do. Um, I used to be a little harsh on Bitcoin, but I see the value now. Um, so really I like Bitcoin, Singularity Net, um, and, and ADA, of course. Peter said, yeah, we all want to do something valuable. Of course, man. Of course. Yeah. I mean, it's like, are we just going to live on a beach and and drink tequila all day. I mean, I'd get sick of that like in two days, you know. Bicep Cardano Steak Pool said, hi, Big Pay. How's it going? It's going great, man. How are you doing? I've never seen you here before. Do you dry fast? What do you think about breatherings? Uh, what's a dry fast? Does that mean where you don't drink water? Um, I've never done that before, man. I, I, um, I, I don't know why, 
but I have to drink a significant amount of water. I mean, I probably drink, I would say, wow, this camera focuses so well. Um, but I would say I probably drink like four of these a day minimum. Bicep said, big pay, show us those biceps. I'm not going to do that, man. I'm not going to show you my biceps. <laughs> if, if I showed you my biceps after you said that, please undelegate. <laughs> oh, just having some banter. Uh, hey, man, do you plan to code in Plutus? I do, I do, I do. Living off ADA will work if I allow compound interest and the price goes up a bit. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with living off of it for the time being, man. I see what you're saying. Uh, Gama says, eat is death. Every time you eat, you age. Fasting is a cure for everything. Went 96 hours, multiple 72 hours consistent and feel like I'm microdosing now. Dude, so I, I think you're onto something, Gamus. I do, but I don't think eat is death. Um, I've read a couple books about this. So don't, I, I'm not a doctor. I don't know shit. I've just read some books. and Because for me, my whole life, um, food has always affected me worse than other people. So I thought maybe it is eating. Maybe, maybe eating is death. Um, but what it really is, man, to me at least, is carbs. Carbs are the devil. Um, I don't, I don't know why, I don't know what, but I noticed that when I limit carbs, I feel like the man, right? I feel like I get into a flow state. I feel like everything in my life is better. Um, and it's, it's carbs, man. So I don't think it's food in general. Um, and I bet it's also different for, for different people. You know, we all, our ancestors all evolved in different places around the world and evolved on different diets, right? So maybe for me, um, fats and proteins are good for me, but for somebody else, carbs are, but I don't know. Carbs are so hard on me. I don't, I don't see how they could be good for anyone else. You ever think that there's a chance that countries will adopt aid as their currency long term, maybe, or that stable coins or other coins will? Man, so much unbelievable stuff has been happening lately in my life that wouldn't surprise me one bit. It wouldn't. It wouldn't, man. It's a good question, though, Peter. I really appreciate you being here today, man. What are your thoughts on all these markets, excluding U.S. citizens? Sorry about that. It's probably loud. The next thing I'm going to get is a pop filter. I promise. What, what are your thoughts on all these markets, excluding U.S. citizens? I'm not sure why this has happened, but I assume it has to do with law. They're, they're scared of the SEC is what it is. Um, CT Guitar Dude said, I do agree that it would be wise to invest staking rewards into other businesses and investment opportunities. It's not a bad idea, man. But it's it's a hard thing to it's a hard thing to do because at the same time the rewards we're making now are going to be higher than they ever will. So it's like, man, should I really take them out now? You know. Warren Buffett said, "Cardano has the best community. Keep up the great work. Thanks so much, man. I appreciate you coming by here today, Warren Buffett. I was just quoting you earlier. I was talking about the blood on the streets." Um, Gama said, "Work for crypto at the moment." company as a research analyst. I should be doing a podcast shilling coins, but not a degenerate starting a private hedge fund. Sounds like you're doing great things, man. Nothing like working in the crypto industry. Simon said, looking fresh. Thank you. You're so kind, man. What kind of exercises are you doing? Um, I've really, I've just been fasting. I've been eating better and cutting out carbs. Um, as far as exercises, I do jujitsu. Um, I did do the sauna, but they're closed in Ohio now. Um, and then I do back by chest try, I do abs and then, um, legs and shoulders as well. Um, and I just do them on different days. I realize the way my brain works that I should probably just do something every day. Um, whether it's, you know, hot yoga or going to the gym or jujitsu, I just have to do something, um, to essentially keep the momentum going. Right. And I, I have a lot of momentum right now, so that's why I look healthy and fresh and, you guys can probably tell my mind's a little bit quicker than usual. It's because I, I have some momentum going, man. Um, you look like Harry Potter. I don't think I do. I don't think I do. I would say, I always, when I was younger, especially when I have a little bit more fat on my face, I always got that I look like Post Malone. And it was it's the hair is really what it was, especially with the chubby cheeks, you know. Um, but I don't think I look like Harry Potter. <laughs> You know, I don't mind you putting your stake pool at the end of your name, as long as you add something to the conversation, Stacy. right? That's so cool, man. That's cool. Because you said, I'd get sick of the tequila in 20 minutes. Yeah, I know where you're coming from, man. 
What pisses me off is when people advertise their stake pool but provide no substance, you know? Come in here with your stake pool in your name or put it at the end of your message. I get it. I get it completely. But don't just put your stake pool in, man. It pisses me off. I don't ban anyone. I don't ban anyone. Except for the people that just advertise their stake pool but provide no real value. It just angers me. It just seems like just not very classy. Is running a pool profitable? Um, yes, yes it is, if you get delegation. Johnny Pencilla said, haircut when? Never, man, never. Someone on Twitter said, how much USD would it cost for me to get you to cut your hair off? I, I, I don't know, man, I don't know. I just, I don't think I could do it. What else do I have going for me other than curls, man? <laughs> STGN said, are you living in a crack house now? <laughs> it's the same house, man. It's just a, it's a different room. It's a different room. Um, yeah, I mean, dude, I'm young. I, I have never had money in my entire life. What, what can I say? You know, I'm not saying I have money now. I'm saying I, I haven't had money. So why would I have a beautiful home? You know, I rent. Um, but I appreciate your, your insults, STJ, and they, they really keep me leveled. You know, you often call me an ugly bastard. You know, you, you, you talk about my house and compare it to a crack house. I really, with everything great that's happening right now, you know, Ada, the Ada Price, um, Bloom's killing it. You know, the YouTube channel's killing it. I really need you to keep me grounded. And I, and I appreciate you, man. You're, you're a very important part of everything that we do here. Hello, Ohio from Vietnam. Hello. Danny Haystack. I would love to visit Vietnam one day. Rebel said, fasting a lot plus veganism made me get an online biotech degree in two years. Seriously. I have an extensive program experience, but going super healthy helped me with all that biology stuff. Same here, man. I, I can actually learn stuff very efficiently, but it's only if I keep my body right. It's so crazy, man. I, I turn into such a smooth brain. Um, when I'm not taking care of myself. Sardio said, weird question, but you feel like weird things are happening at a fast pace, not in just crypto, but in the world? Yeah, I would, I would say so. I would say so, man, but I'm not sure why. At least in my life, for sure, not even just in crypto. I mean, my life is crypto, though, so. I need to stop hitting the desk. You guys probably see the camera shaking a little bit. Um, Peter said, how many people have you introduced to Cardano? Just an estimate? 100, 250, 500? Very curious. It's really hard to tell, right? I mean, this month I've probably had about 86,000 views, right? But obviously a lot of those views are over and over again from the same people. If I had to make a, a conservative estimate, I would say 500. Um, but it wouldn't surprise me if it were more than that. It wouldn't surprise me if it were a few thousand um, and I don't just see those people anymore, you know, um, but I, I have no idea, you know, I really don't. I try not to think about it in that terms because it's hard to say like, oh, I've introduced a bunch of new people. Really, my goal and the value that I try to provide is educate more people, right? I hope the whole Cardano community is just a little bit more educated from the videos that I make, right? That's kind of my goal because it's a hard game to play and a hard thing to track. I mean, I guess the, how much education you bring is just as hard to track. So I don't know what I'm rambling on about, but I haven't really thought about it. Uh, do you think anyone consulting you or helping you about with taxes associated with crypto? I hold in no fiat conversions, wondering if to pay taxes until I convert to fiat. Um, no, you don't have to pay unreal. I mean, okay. I'm not going to, I'm not going to answer that question, man. I don't have anybody. I'm looking for somebody. I have been for a while now. It's uh, it's few and far between, man. It really is. Um, but you shouldn't, at least in the United States and Ohio, you're not going to have to pay taxes on unrealized gains. Jeremy said, where's the interview with Ben Gortzel so I can watch? It's going to be uploaded um, tomorrow. Um, let me view this deleted message real quick. Um, okay, so the interview with Ben Gortzel, um, that's actually going to be here on um, either tomorrow or Wednesday. I'm waiting on, um, I have I have an advertisement on it, like an actual real advertisement from a company and they have to review the video first and it's a long video. 
and I'm sure they're so, so thrilled to hear, hear about decentralized AI. Joe said, take the money and buy a wig until it grows back, man. I just couldn't, I couldn't do that, man. I couldn't do that. STJN said, but you're rich now with you pumping ADA. I'm not rich, man. I'm not rich in any way. Uh, does the stake pool need a static IP address? It does, George, it does. Gib guy, hello, mate. What's up, man? How you been, Gib? It's been a while, man. I've, I've seen you around Twitter a little bit, but I remember you here in the Shelly days, often. STJN said, yin and yang. Oh, you respond. Okay, I see what you're saying. Tua said, don't worry, man. That encourages that encourage, encourages you push further. What do you mean? What were you responding to? I forget, Tuan. Sorry, thanks for your time you're putting in this community. No, don't apologize, man. Thank you so much for coming here today. I really appreciate it, man. <laughs> I like that, Gib guy. He says, sold at 92, bought back at 78. Feeling good. I like that, man. That's risky, though, Gib guy. I saw you here at three cents, man. It's risky to sell at 92 unless you're just taking a little bit of profit. Um, oh, it's pronounced stain. Okay, I'll probably forget that. Remind me again if I if I say STJN because stain's way better. Um, hola from SoCal. Hola, como estas? Roland said, do you think doing electrical engineering courses is good for the future if I want to migrate overseas? I'm not sure about the overseas part. You know, I'm definitely not a very cultured man. I wish I was. Um, I just didn't, I didn't grow up with a lot of money, so I didn't do much traveling. Um, so I don't know about the overseas part, but I think doing any, any skill like engineering uh, is probably going to be good for you. Gama says, we only need fats, sugars, and salts from fruits, nuts, herbs, and vegetables. That was a mouthful. Artesian water with natural carbonation. Natural carbonation with water? I've never heard that before. Dry fasting resets hormones, kills parasites, misfuls, proteins. Google Ontophagy. Put that in the Discord, man. Uh, I have a Discord link down below. Uh, make sure you guys come into that. And if you put that in there, I'll Google it later. Ibby, what's up? All right, so everybody, please, please thank Ibby in the chat. Ibby is the best. She's the best. So she recently got some Bloom merch, right? That's step one. But that doesn't compare. She set she set up a podcast with Ben Gortzel. So everybody, please type Ibby is the shit in the chat. So thank you so much for that, Ibby. I had such a great time with him and um, it was such a cool thing to do. So I appreciate you swinging by today too. It was, it, it was awesome. You know, it definitely, uh, it definitely made my weekend. So Jeremy said, awesome. Thank you. Good luck with the advertisement. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Implow said, for taxes, try tax sites like Coinly. See, I can't use that Implow because I, like, I have a business, right? I have Bloom, um, and I also operate another business too. So I have to be, I have to like actually have someone do it because it's not just, oh, my wallets and my exchanges. It's like, oh, well, I'm getting ADA from, a, from the blockchain fresh minted. You know, it, it, gets, it gets a lot more complicated. Matilda said, leave the hair. It looks cool. That's what I was telling him. That's what I was telling him, Matilda. I'm not going to get rid of the hair, man. It's, it's all I have going for me. Um, Stain said, I hate everyone. Stain, what's wrong, man? What's wrong? I, I hear some hail coming down outside. Do you guys hear that? It's like... Tss, tss, tss. Uh, Rebel said, big pay. Are you hosting pool servers at your home? What hardware do you use? So no, I don't host pool servers in my home. Um, it's for a couple reasons. I have, I have roommates. I um, mean, what if they just unplugged the Wi-Fi? You know, what if one of my roommates came home drunk one night and they're like, oh, my phone's not working and they unplug the box. You know, um, at Bloom, we try to provide like good stuff, right? Your enterprise level stuff, right? And I can't do that for my home. Um, and, and the hardware the hardware varies uh, for sure because it's a bunch of different nodes all scattered across different, like different um, VM offers, right? But good question, man. Thanks for the great info. No problem, Poldy. Thank you for coming so much, man. Singularity Net said, we love you with a 25 euro super chat. I love you, man. Thank you guys so much. I, I, I hope that's what's so cool about you guys. So I've always, I've always loved Singularity Net. I have um, ever since. And I, I know this is probably what the basic people say that are new to Singularity Net. But ever since the Joe Rogan episode, I heard that and I was like, oh, this is so awesome. Um, but I've always only been into Cardano. 
right? So having you guys put a portion over here and, and migrate to Cardano is like the best case scenario ever because that means I'm gonna be having videos about what you guys are doing. It meets the topic, it meets the form. I'm so happy about it, man. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be you or a turd, it'd be you the girl. <laughs> I like that. People need healthcare, water, food, electricity. Those are professions that aren't going anywhere. Yeah, you're right. You guys don't like my type things in chat. It's not like, um, like if you watch like somebody play video games, um, you can just say like, oh, type this in the chat and then you'll get it for miles. <laughs> you guys are like, no, <laughs> fuck you, dude. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I respect it. I respect it. She said, carnivore diet for the win. Autophagy is the process to which the body eliminates damaged cells and basically renews itself. Fasting helps with that big time. It's de fasting definitely does something, man. Charlie said, hey, pay, happy late birthday. Thanks, man. Thank you, Charlie. Looking forward to seeing the LQD's Aquafire and hydroponics when it comes out. What other projects are notable in your opinion? Um, so I haven't seen the the LQDs. What what are you talking about, man? Send send me a link on here. Send me in the Discord chat. Um, but other projects? Do you mean coming to Cardano, Charlie? And I'll I'll read them um, if you type right now. I'll read the chat. Do you mean other projects coming to Cardano? Beyond time said, "Ibby, you the girl. She is. She is." Thank you. I'm not sure in the almost age of A, it's not wasting your time, but it's able to get able to use a computer you need with the build circuit boards. Yeah, man. I think most engineering stuff's not wasting your time unless it's like something outdated, you know. Um, is it the Fe February 1? February? Oh, no. So, Malky, uh, Gogan mainnet isn't coming all at once. We have this rollout phased approach, right? So it started off with metadata and transactions, which allows you to vote. I mean, what that means is I can, I can start a transaction, I can include a file, and in that file I can hold some data, which is important. It might not sound very cool, but it's important. The next thing is coming February 23rd, um, and that's the Mary Hard Fork, and that's native tokens on top of the blockchain, right? So that's what's coming February 23rd. I, I think that's what you're referring to because you said the 21st. Um, and then after that, in April, is smart contracts. And I guess you could call that the main net launch, right, for Gogan. Uh, but in reality, I bet in April, Gogan's not going to be done. There's always going to be more, right? Pietro said, thanks so much for all your vids, man. I've been waiting to set up a stake pool and I found your videos super useful. If it wasn't for people like you, it would have been more, a lot more difficult. Hey, thanks, Pietro. Pietro? Pietro? Is that how I say it? No problem, man. I'm happy that I could help you out. Yeah, because that, that stake pool learning journey is really hard at first. Um, Daniel said, what area are you most interested in in the Cardano community? I'm, I'm not somebody who, who specializes in things. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely kind of the, the, um, the wishy-washy kind of guy. You know, I, I love Voltaire. I love the voting. The idea of decentralized voting mm -hmm. and all the proposals and everything that's happening with that. It, it's, uh, it's, I mean, it, I literally think about it before I go to sleep is not, at night. I how nerdy that is that. How nerdy is that? But at the same time, um, I, I like the stake pool stuff. I like the idea of proof of stake. And then, and also I, I love the idea of, of Gogan. You know, I love the idea of decentralized applications on top of Cardano and, and DEXs and, and uh, providing liquidity and, and just having all of this stuff, right? So as far as what I'm most interested in, I don't know. I think I'm eventually gonna find my place or maybe my place is being um, kind of the, the guy who, shows everybody everything, you know, but I'm not going to be the Voltaire guy, you know, I'm not going to be the Gogan guy, I'm not going to be the Stigpool guy either, you know. I'm the Cardano guy. <laughs> Hello from Ukraine, I stake in your pool, 10k Ada, I love you. I love you too, Vladimir, thank you so much, man. Sorry about the vibrations. Sorry about that. What is your opinion on cornbread and possum soup? I've only ever had coin bread, cornbread, cornbread, <laughs> cornbread. I only ever had it once. Um, when I was in high school, 
uh, we were reading 12 Years a Slave, and they made us like make a bunch of um, food that slaves ate. And it, it, it just felt weird. But I had cornbread then, um, and it was, it was pretty awful. Um, but I've never had possum soup. I, I, don't got, I don't know about possums, though. I was going to say I don't have any problem with eating a random animal, but I feel like possums are very parasitic. Big Pay, would you ever consider moving to a crypto tax-free country, totally legal in case you had huge gains, just so you can invest in what you think matters? I don't know. I, I think I would, more so than most people, but it would be hard for me to do. Because I realize as I get a little bit older, I'm starting to make connections with people I really like in the United States. And moving to a different state, I'm willing to do, right? Moving to a different country gets more and more tricky, you know? But probably... Probably, especially if the United States was going to shit, but it's not. I mean, it could be, but it's not shit right now. Um, ben Gortzel is brilliant, and so is Stephen Wolfram. Have you seen his new physics? I think it's going to be a revolution. I haven't seen. Thanks for coming by, Krypton, man. It's, it's been a while since I've seen you here. Um, but I have not seen his new physics from, um, from Stephen Wolfram. I'll have to check that out. Roland said, dude, I see some people picking on you. Just F them. They're losers. Salty Fs. Hey man, you got to have thick skin. You know, I'm speaking to right now 250 people. You know, if I was somebody easily offended or I had a bunch of insecurities uh, that are very pronounced, you know, then I probably shouldn't be doing this. But thanks, thanks for that, man. I appreciate it. Um, JJ said, hey, Pei, other than yourself, who's your favorite Cardano related content creator? Um, so it was, it was um, the Cardano effect, of course. But um, now it's, it's definitely got to be, I like Umed stuff. I like Kaizen stuff. It's got to be Charles Hoskinson, man. Charles Hoskinson's my favorite Cardano content creator. And I know you guys are like, oh, well, that's easy. But seriously, I mean, he, he runs a YouTube channel. And I mean, he posts, he posts like probably 50% as much as I do. So he's, he's definitely, he's a content creator. He does a lot of things, man. That's kind of what I mean, like, I envy that about Charles, the, how much he does. I'm like that. I'm the same way. You know, I have to be doing 50 things to be motivated, you know. Uh, Big Mo said, get your beers ready for the $1 party. Which beer would you choose? You got my like and subscribe. Keep up the good work. Thanks so much, man. Um, I'm not much of a drinker, um, but if I had to choose a beer, um, it'd probably be an IPA. Um, I like, uh, what is it called? It's Voodoo. Oh, Voodoo Ranger. I like that one. Um, and I like Elvis Juice. I also like um, some of the beers that taste like weed, like um, the Hazify ones. But yeah, that $1 party could come very soon. Where's a good place to learn more about how to participate in voting on the Cardano network? What are the requirements to vote? Subscribe to this YouTube channel, click the notification bell, and click all. Um, the day that that stuff comes out, I'll have a video, and you'll have a little notification on your phone from your boy here, and it's going to say, hey, this is how you vote. You know, so... Don't worry about that one bit, man. And I'll have all those details, like what are the requirements and blah, 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 blah. I'll have all that. What is your opinion on the Cardano and the Rock staking node kits? It's a decent hardware option for creating a stake pool. No, I think those are outdated, man. Um, I would recommend using the cloud, step one. Uh, if you want to do something at home, I would just build your own computer, man. Or buy a pre-built. Daniel said, ha, ha, ha. I keep looking at my phone thinking it's vibrating. Yeah, see, I only the only notifications I have on are my text messages and I don't get too many. So I'm, I'm sorry about that. Um, do you think it's possible in the stock market will incentivize people to get into crypto bull market year, this year? Um, I, I don't know, man, because unless we broke away from the stock market, which I think has to happen eventually, um, we, we might go down with them, man. So Um, Mafeus says, hi, can I stake 300 ADA to Bloom? You can, Mafeus. And if you have or Maf a Las, Mafeus, Mafeus, Mafeus. So Mafeus, you can stake 300 ADA to Bloom. Um, and if you need any help, I have videos on that. It's called How to Stake with Your Roy, space, big, space, pay. Um, I can also help you out personally if you join the Discord server mm -hmm. down below. Um, but you can stake anything over 10 ADA. All right, I'm taking it off the table. I'm taking it off the table. Um, SingularityNet said, what functions should your ideal AI assistant have? 
See, now you're asking some good questions. I would say somebody that can answer my emails, right? Because a lot of you guys email me and I, I, I wanna answer every single one of them, help you out, because a lot of it's staking questions or um, you're confused about something with Cardano, so I really try to, to help everyone individually. You know, I think that's really important. I think the more people that do that, um, the better community that we're gonna have. Um, but I've been getting a lot of emails lately, so right now I would say um, an AI assistant that can answer my emails um, and answer cryptocurrency questions. So if you guys have that, yeah, email me. <laughs> I'm pretty excited for the next few months. Hard to be patient though. It is hard to be patient, man, but this came a lot sooner than I thought it was going to, so I'm very happy. Crypto Jerome is also an excellent content creator. I've never heard of him, man. Um, what are the main risks of Cardano? I answered that earlier, but I would say probably government intervention. Um, you think it's a good time to buy Cardano? I wanted to start with crypto and Cardano sounds good to me. Um, so I can't tell you to buy Cardano, man, but um, the majority of my holdings, I can tell you what I do, but not financial advice is in Cardano. Um, I like Cardano, Bitcoin, and um, AGI. So, um, if I were you, though, I wouldn't do a lump. I can't. I can't. Ah, I can't give you my opinion, man. I'm always so stressed out about the financial advice shit. Um, in two sentences or less, can you explain the Africa deal for us simpletons? So the deal um, that they're trying to do in Africa. Um, that they mentioned, at least what Charles mentioned, is they have a deal with 5 million users onboarded onto the Cardano blockchain. Um, but that's really all the data that Charles released um, is essentially that there's a deal for 5 million users um, and they're going to be on the Cardano blockchain, which is huge, right? Because I think there's only like, I mean, you can ask Peter. Peter was here. Um, I don't, there's not that many wallets, man. So, I mean, that's a, a huge, uh, probably a 10x increase in users from one deal. So, Edwin said, hi, pay is at singularity net in the chat scam box or real deal. That's the real singularity net. That's the real singularity net. Uh, Big Moose Brain said, what advice would you give anyone who is interested in creating YouTube content on card crypto slash ADA topics? Do you wish you knew now? Um, really to start doing it earlier. You know, that's the best like, advice I could give you, man, because you're not gonna, I'm not gonna give you this one key advice, so I'm just keep doing it too, right? Start earlier and keep up the momentum, keep up the consistency, man, because it'll grow, but them first few months, man, are rough. When you have like one comment, if you're lucky, it's hard, man, it's hard, it's hard. But I am going to end the AMA today, that was it. If you guys haven't already clicked that like button, we're almost at 400, it'd be pretty cool if we saw that before we left, but if you guys made it to the end of the video and you're not watching live, please write, um, I don't know. What, what should we write today? Retracement! Exclamation point down below. But I appreciate you guys so much for tuning in each and every week. I do these every Monday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you have questions, write them down during the week and come next week, man. I'll hope I, I'll get those answered for you. Um, but I've been having a lot of fun doing this stuff. Podcast with Ben Gortz will come in soon. Um, Farah? Farah, I did answer your question. Um, I saw you replied uh, to my post. I answered that at the beginning of this if you missed it. Um, so you asked a very good question, man. Um, but yeah, yeah. So click that notification bell. Click all. Leave a like. Good stuff. Have a good rest of your week. I love you guys. See you.